Yeah, uh, Bang Bang Ray Hill. Uh, I'll come out about 90, what, 92, 93, something like that, 92, not, I'm not quite sure about that area. And uh, I live with my mum and dad's. Um, I used to work down in a place called Lucky's for quite some time um, on the door there. Uh, me, my, my mate Dominic McCoy, Dominic McCoy won the, won the door. I was on the door there and it was like it was all suited and booted and all that sort of thing, you know. Anyway, uh, one day um, a girl came up to me and she said, your name Ray Hill. I said, yeah, love it. what's up? She said, I've got a letter for you. So she gave me a letter and it was from my mate Mickey. And I went, oh my God, you know what I mean? It's like long time. I mean, him, me and him was in Brixton together and I, 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 I knocked out this couple, well, I didn't knock him out, a couple of guys, a one I hit in the chair, he went over, the other one run, yeah? And uh, anyway, and I was chewed up with Mickey. Mickey had a television in his cell, it was not good. It was in, in them days, no one had a television in the cell, you know what I mean? But he had a little portable. Uh, these screws brought in a little tiny little one. He'd, he'd give this screw, uh, this screw a flat in, uh, in Magaluf, you know, spun in. So to go on holiday, so the screw could put him in the television, looked after Mickey. Mickey could get what he wanted. And he, he wanted me in his cell and he got me in his cell. And we was pals and uh, I said, look, I'm going to get a bit of bird. I'm going to get quite a bit, big bit of bird. And anyway, and then um, me and Mickey parted, uh, gave him my phone number and all this and the other where I lived. And anyway, I've done a bit of bird come out. So I've got a job in Lucky's. And this bird come up to me and said, listen, I've got a, a, a letter here from a guy called Mickey. And I read it and I went, oh, I can't believe it. And I was really pleased, you know. And uh, he wanted to meet me, down, meet me down bootleggers. And so I went down bootleggers and uh, as I walked down the stairs. I've never been to these clubs before, them sort of clubs, even working the doors, really. Anyway, and uh, went down there, there was all these white sofas and all, all these girls sitting on it, and they were all prostitutes, I've been told you. And I went in there, see Mickey Gooch, and we, we become white pals. And then, you know, Mickey, like I was with Mickey, what, a lot, a big lot, you know, we're going down the gym with him, training down the gym. But I had no money, you know, and I had to earn my money. But before that, he said to me, listen, um, where are you living? I said, where are my mum's? He said, "What well, you got? You, well, he said, no, I said, you know, I, you know, got nowhere to go as, as such at that time. So he said, listen, um, do you want a flat? I went, yeah, I love a flat, mate. He said, look, my mate's got uh, some flats in Sutherland's, Sutherland's Avenue in, uh, in, in, in uh, Paddington. Anybody know that Sutherland's Avenue? Sutherland's Avenue? Nice, nice road, mate. Some beautiful, beautiful houses there, four or five story houses, Georgian, beautiful houses, you yeah? know. And he said, you know, I've got one bedroom flat there. Do you want it? I went, yeah, yeah. yeah mate. And Mickey played, I think Mickey played about three months up front. And uh, walked into this place, had all Bannon locks on the door. Walked in, it was all beautiful. Man. The kitchen was unbelievable. You come and you've been in prison for a long time. It was a beautiful, was, the, the kitchen was this out of this world. The bedroom was perfect, yeah. And it, it was so, so nice. And it was a one bedroom flat, yeah. And it was really nice for me, you know what I mean? Mickey really looked after me. And I used to go down and see Mickey every day. And on a, on a Friday, and on a Friday night, I used to go out to my mate Nobby, Nobby Griffiths' house, get a black black Bentley or a black bowler, and take and pick everybody up and go to all the clubs, all the nightclubs, yeah? Like Power Joey's, Fidenzi's. If you could start off at Blondes, Blondes, Power Joey's, Fidenzi's, maybe Browns, maybe Joanna's, maybe... The China Whites, it was at loads, we used to go loads and loads of clubs, yeah, loads of clubs. About, what, five or six clubs on on, on, a, on a weekend? And, you know, no one ever said nothing. We just walked straight in the club. We was with the other company. It didn't really matter. Was it? We used to walk through. No one took no, no notice. I was massive. I was a big lump. And I used to look after them. I looked after about five or six people. Anyway, Mickey got this place down on Sutherland's Avenue. Uh, really nice flat. And... Uh, I was with, with them all weekend, but this particular time, they was going somewhere. So they said to me, look, we don't need you, uh, Ray. This is on Saturday night, we don't need you. So I, I, I left there and uh, drove home, Sutherland's, Sutherland's Avenue. And it's about, what, three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. And I realised I needed I needed milk and sugar and some other stuff. So I walked down to Edgewell High Street. For, it's quite a long walk, it's, it's nice. I, was, I didn't mind coming out of prison. Nice to be out, you know, just walking about. Went down there, uh, Edgeway Road, walked into a, uh, them shops up in 24 7, walked in there, bought some milk, sugar, like that. And I noticed this girl, yeah, and uh, she was really pretty, mate. I mean, 
But what she was, she was really, really pretty. She had a big tattoo on her face, a big um, cobweb with a spider in it, you know. And I thought, oh, God, I bet she was, honestly, she was so attractive. Why she done that to her face, I don't know. But she was really nice. And I started talking to her and, and she had no money, you know. And, uh, well, you know, she was a prostitute or such, and she had, but she had nothing, yeah. And she said, you want, you want, you want, you want some company? You want a bit of I said, yeah, 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 sweet. I said, what do you need? She said, I need some fags, and I said, drink. And I bought some drink, bought some fags, and I took her back to my place. And so I got a cab, someone's having a bump, drove around, didn't want to that, walk that far, but you know what I mean? Got in there. And they had a good time, stayed the night, and it was a really good night, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? She looked after me, as far as looking after is concerned. I had a really, really good night, and but I didn't know that she was on the brown, yeah? She was on brown, but I didn't really smell it, I didn't really notice it. And in the morning, uh, she got out of bed and she was sick, really, really sick. And I said, I walked into the bathroom, she was spewing everywhere, and she was in a bad way. I said, what's up? She said, oh, yeah, I didn't want to tell you why, but I'm on brown, and I need, I need, I need something to, to bring me back, you know, I feel really, really sick. I went, wow, I said, listen, you should have told me this, you know what I mean? Because now I'm a bit frightened. Do you know what I mean? You never know what you're going to catch, yeah? But, we, you know, I did, I did take precautions, but sometimes it, it, it still don't matter. So I was a bit pissed off, really. And uh, I said, look, do you need something? She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, you got anybody that, that, that's got it? And she said, yeah. She said, so I phoned the guy up. He said, yeah, meet me. Uh, Edge Road Road, one of them turns up by... by I think it was by, by the uh, Victoria, Victoria um, gambling gambling place there, you know, sports sportsman's club gambling club. So I went down there. I had to wait about what you can never rely on these guys. You know what I mean? I had to wait about half an hour for this guy to come, and he, I give me a bag. I, I, I got a nice big bag, hundred pound bag, which is a lot, you know, at that at that time. Uh, so I got hundred pound bag and. I thought, well, I, thought, I don't even going to get a cab. I walked back, you know, I've been probably just walked back. I walked back, but before I left my place, yeah, I was on the ground floor. I abandoned all the locks up, so, you know, I thought it better to do that, you know, abandoned all my locks up. And I was on the ground floor, and there was uh, windows not looking over to the, looking over to the pavement, but there's a little fence, right there, yeah. With a sort of like a, uh, with, with a ledge, a nice big open ledge on it, yeah. Oh, lovely. Big wind, massive great windows, bad wind, massive windows. Walked into my flat and uh, walked in. She got a shout in her name. She was when I walked in, I noticed my telly had gone. In them days, it was uh, videos, JVC, my video had gone, uh, my music had gone, uh, my watch had gone, uh, everything, all my jewelry had gone. I didn't have much jewelry, but I had a nice watch, I had a nice chain and bits and pieces had gone. Everything had gone. Everything had gone. And what they done, she must have arranged it for me when, when, when he took me ages to find him, half an hour, whatever it was, to find him. And, and then I walked back like an idiot. But anyway, but they must have arranged that. So when I, the time I take to get there, and all this that they got there quick and got all the stuff out, and she got all the stuff out with the guy. Now I'm going crazy, you know what I mean? Because I've got now, I've got nothing in my place, nothing. And, and, and Mickey really looked after me, bought me everything I needed. And I thought, I'm not having this, mate. I can't have this. I can't have it, you know, no way. So I phoned Mickey up and told him, Mickey what happened. He said, Sway. He said, well, Are you crazy or what? He went, Look, sort it out. He said, Come over and see me later. So I'm walking around Paddington, all around the Ezra Road, all them sort of places, trying to find people. Got all the few people, you know, the nearest drug place house and this, that, and the other. So then I got the phone to a couple of my mates, a black, couple of black guys I know, yeah. And uh, I said, look, you know, we've got to sort, sort these people out, you know what I mean? And he said, yeah, sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, lovely, lovely. And, and, and they're going to these places, and they're going to different places, I'm going to different places. And all of a sudden, I got a phone call saying, yeah, we found him, come round. Is, is the bird got a cobweb on the face? I said, yes, yes, yes. Went round there, and there's the bird. And I said, where's my telly? And I said, where's my videos? Where's this at? You, you sold it. The gear. Right. And I said, where's the gear that done it? She said, he's not here, mate. He's not. I said, listen, you're staying here with his, with his, with his guys. So I said, I'm gonna, oh, I want to go and see his gear. So she told me more or less where he is, yeah? But then I thought to myself, I'll, I'll take one of my mates with me. I said, you stay here with her, yeah? Took another sort of black guy with me, went man, so just off just off, off of Ezra Road and the back there, with some flats, yeah? Went up there, did knock at the door, kicked the door down. 
kick the door straight down, right? And went straight into it. And his geezer stabbed me straight in the belly. He stabbed me straight in the belly, mate. It went in about, what, I don't know, three inches, four inches. I swear to God, mate. You know what I mean? I never even felt I thought he punched me in the belly. You know what I mean? Whoop! In the belly. You know what I mean? Big scar. Oh, what? I've already been cut there when I was in prison. The standing knives, and it's all opened up. What? He's done me in the belly, mate. Right? I thought, as I say, I thought he punched me. As he went like that, I went bang. I hit him with a little left hook, knocked him over, and then I realised that he stabbed me in the belly, right? And I, I couldn't believe it. Then I buckled up now because he went in, as I say, went in about three inches, which is quite fierce, you know what I mean? In the belly, it was all, all veins running there, all arteries running there, you know what I mean? And, and I'm going, he got the aorta down there, and I'm fucking, fucking hell, this is going to call, and the blood's pissing out of me, yeah? So now I've got to go to um, the, other, the big hospital there, uh, what is it called? St. Michael, something like that, I don't know. Big hospital there, yeah? Down, down Paddington, Paddington Street, yeah? I go down there, but before I went down there, uh, the guys that stabbed me, stabbed me in the belly, uh, he's, got to be, he's got to be taught a lesson, you know? He's got to be taught a lesson, he can't be doing that. So I said to my mate, hold him down. Hold his fucking, hold him down. Put his hands over that, over that cut table. Put his hands over the table, listen, I'll cut. Thumb, four fingers. Cut them off, bop, 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 cut them off. I cut him a scream, mate. I cut him all, I cut everything, all, every finger he had and thumb, I cut off on his right hand, you know what I mean? Cut them all off, everything off. And I was screaming like a pig, you know what I mean? And I went bang, smashed. I mean, it must have hit him four or five times. Not just because a spark out, kicking him all around the yak, you know what I mean? But then there's F, I don't know, couldn't, there's no way he could do that. But I had to get to, I had to, get to, the, to the hospital, yeah? Go to the hospital. I'm in a bad way, yeah? And, and, and they, they take me down, down to the theatre. They got to look at me, sew me up, and this, that, and the other one. Right? Take me down to the theatre. I come up, and, and as I come up, yeah, there's police, there's police uh, all round, all round the gaff. And there's this geezer, this black guy, willing them in. There's blood everywhere, mate. It's, honestly, it's, it's, it's everywhere. He's the same guy that cut his fingers off, yeah? There's blood everywhere, mate. And uh, do you know, it's just like too much, you know what I mean? And I thought, this fucking geezer, he's got to go, you know what I mean? I don't want him to live, mate. I was so fucked off that he done me and I had to go down an operation. And there's me now in a bed. I don't want to stay in the hospital. I'm, I'm in a bed, I've got to stay there. Right? And, it's, and it is. And I'm thinking, you know, I'll sort this geezer out, I've got to do it, you know, I've got to, I've got to sort it out, you know? And there he is, like, you know, sort of screaming and shouting and, and all this out in the oven and all, everything, everyone everywhere, you know, and he's going mad. Uh, so anyway, my, my pal coming in to see me, I said, listen, that fucking geezer, right, I said, he's around the back there. And I said, they're sorting him out, yeah? I said, I ain't letting it go, mate. He's got, he's fucking really stabbed me bad, yeah? And I said, it's gone deep and, 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 and they've sort of done it all thing like that, mate, it's really painful, you know what I mean? He's got to go, mate, I ain't having this, he's got to be hurt bad. So my mate said, look, we can't do nothing, right? he's all right, I'll everywhere, this, that, and I said, all right, leave it, we'll leave it then, leave it like that, yeah? Anyway, sort of like, I'm, I'm in bed, and uh, what, I don't know, what, four, five o'clock in the morning, right, and who comes in? His geezer chops his fingers off, all bandaged up, his face is all fucking smashed to pieces, all thinged up, and he comes in the same room with me. And I thought, oh, fucking hell, you know what I mean? What's going to go on here? I can't believe it, he's coming in the same room as me, yeah? And I thought, fucking hell, mate, I'm in bed. And this is like three or four o'clock in the morning, maybe even later that, yeah? So I'm looking, and I know it's him. His hands all bandaged up, his fucking face is in the right bad way. And he put me in bed. And I, now I've got to be careful about sitting up and seeing my face and say, that's the geezer that done it, you know what I mean? So I thought, am I going to get out of this? How am I going to get out of this? So when the geezer, the geezer, the geezer's in, in bed and he's like trying to, trying to go to sleep, I've got to get out of the hospital. I've got to get out of the hospital, no matter what now, I'm going to get out of the hospital because I'm, it looks like I could be in serious shit here. So I jumped out of bed, got dressed up, from, from my parts, he come pick me up, yeah? 
I'm outside uh, the, the, St Mary's, is it St Mary's Hospital? I'm outside St Mary's in Paddington, Paddington Road, Paddington uh, Street there. He comes and picks me up, takes me back to my place. Um, my guts, my guts is, is all, all stitched up, but it's painful, mate. I mean, lots of pain. I've surely got some medication, but I don't, yeah? So in the morning, don't forget, this is, I think it's, this is Sunday morning now or Monday morning. I have to go and get medication for this, yeah? So I go back to, so I go back to the hospital and say, look, you know, I had a bit of problems with, with, with a few people, like my girlfriend, this, that, and the other, and I had to get out and see her. They said, look, you've got to stay. You've got to stay because of what's happened. I said, look, no, not really, you know. I can't stay. And so they give him all my medication. I'll shut off, yeah. But he, the other geezer is still in is still in the hospital and it's got to be sorted. Do you know what I mean? He, I can't let him do this to me. Rob my place and then stab me in the belly. Like, when he stabbed me in the belly, he didn't just stab me. He opened me up, you know what I mean? He opened me up about three inches wide, yeah. He opened me up, it was a bad, bad cut, mate. It was deep and it was three inches in, four inches in, it was deep, he cut me up, but done me up, yeah. So now I know he's, this geezer's in trouble, mate. He's got, I mean, I ain't letting it go. I ain't letting it go. So he slips in there, me and my pal, one late, one late night, yeah. Slips in, in the hospital. And we smashed this geezer to pieces. I stabbed him, not stabbed him, stabbed him. You know, I've done this geezer some damage, mate. I've done this guy some da serious damage. You know what I mean? And to think, to think that he was using women for his own purposes, you know what I mean? His own purposes, uh, not giving them heroin and making them addicted. He's, a, 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 he's an animal, he's a pig. You know what I mean? Stab me up, you know what I mean? He was nothing, he was, I'll tell you what, he was like a fag paper. He was like that old dreads, like a fag paper, mate. Right? You know what I mean? And he come to kill me, mate. He come to kill me, and yet he nicked all my televisions, my videos, everything out of my place, my jewelry, and give her next to nothing, a couple of bags, I suppose, and, 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 and all the rest yourself. But he got really, really, really obliged, mate. He got smashed up, you know. And I'll tell you what, after that, mate, I, I phoned Mickey out and said, look, I can't stay here. I can't stay here. I said, these people, this, that, and the other, we don't know what they're going to do, you know what I mean, for a bag or this, that, and the other. So I've got to get out of there, mate. And he, and he come down and picked me up. And uh, he, he put, got me another flat in uh, Goldlet Road, yeah? And I'll tell you more or less about Goldlet Road, what happened down there. It's more or less, that was a bad thing, Goldlet Road, you know, because um, there's a, happened, a bad thing happened there for me, you know what I mean? And anyway, uh, this is Bang Bang Way All. Please press the like button and subscribe. And uh, have a nice day, all. Have a nice evening. Take care, bye-bye.